Hey guys, Della 304 here, and I think it is time to record the Dell Latitude E6420 review. I was originally going to wait for this, but until I got the new parts for it, but I decided not to buy the new parts at all. I just, like, this laptop's in pretty darn good condition for, you know, how old it is, so. I'm just going to go ahead and do the review now, uh, since it's been, well, I don't know, few weeks, maybe a month now, so I, I, I don't remember off the top of my head when I got this laptop, but this is my main daily driver, and it probably will be for another couple of years. Um, I know I say that every time, but I'm serious this time. This laptop has some pretty awesome specs, uh, great build quality and all of that, but anyway, yeah, let's go ahead and get into the review. So, the E6420 is a redesign of the previous E6410 and E6400. Uh, it was completely retooled, unlike the transition from the E6400 to the E6410 and it definitely fixed a few key problems with the E6400. Now I used to have an E6400 I would have been able to show you like a comparison between them but I sold the E6400 after, shortly after I bought this so can't do that but I will let you know as we go the improvements they've made across the line. So going let's go from like the apparent stuff so, as most of you would know, the E6400 and the E6410 were uh, squared off black and gray designs. So, this is completely retooled. Instead of having a, uh, you know, a black squared off design, Dell chose to go with these semi-rounded corners, as you can see, and a gunmetal gray and uh, very, like, light gray metal design. Uh, Dell calls this a tri-metal design, so it consists of aluminum, steel, and magnesium uh, that composes the, you know, housing of the computer. Obviously, this being the aluminum, this being the steel, and then the hinges, or no, the hinges are steel, and then the rest of the body of the computer is magnesium. So, it's a very well-built computer, uh, and it just feels very, very solid. So... Um, I think the first thing I want to do is go ahead and take a tour of the laptop, obviously. This is a 14-inch laptop, so, you know, it's not too big. Although, this isn't a small 14-inch laptop. This is among, this is among the heavier 14-inch uh, notebooks. But, anyway, I don't really care about that, but some people might. Uh, just as a heads up, this laptop weighs over 4 pounds, I believe. So, it's not exactly a super travel light uh, computer. But anyway, uh, as you can see, gunmetal gray design. Uh, this kind of has a brushed aluminum look to it, as you can kind of see in the camera there. Uh, and then we have this little plastic strip up here for the, uh, you know, the wireless antenna to seep through. I don't know, seep's not the right word, but anyway, yeah. Um, you can see that along the back here, again, Dell chose this cornered design. I didn't like that at first, but now I, I actually do like it. I think it's just, it gives it a little design flair that it didn't have before. Okay, so let's go ahead and go around the laptop. So, right here, as you can see, we have the latch. It's a very pretty sturdy. I've seen some pretty crappy laptop hinges, or laptop latches. So this one keeps the display nice and closed. There's no wobble at all. It's just, it's a good latch. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of those magnetic ones or laptops with no latches. I prefer the latch uh, just because it keeps it closed more securely. So yeah, that's that. And then we have an SD card reader right there with a dummy card in it. So, you know, that's pretty straightforward. Uh, also, along the front, we have two front firing speakers. One being here and one being there. I did have a speaker test of this laptop, so if you want to see that, go ahead and click on this finger right now. So I made a whole video on that. Uh, I recorded it with my Canon PowerShot. Uh, it has dual microphones, so it will reflect pretty well this sound quality, this computer, which is pretty darn good. So, moving on, we have an Express Card, no, that's a Smart Card slot, excuse me, a Smart Card Reader. Uh, hard Drive Caddy is right here. Um, you know, cooling vent right here for the CPU and graphics. Um, headphone port, VGA port, a USB port. Going along the back, there are very few ports back here because the battery is mostly back here. Uh, but nonetheless, we have an Ethernet port, the charging port. Um, you can configure a 
uh, modem for this, but this one does not have it. And also we have a full-sized HDMI and a Kensington lock. Going around the right side, we have a USB eSATA combo. Two more USBs. Um, okay, so this one is a powered USB port, so it will provide more current than the other ones. Actually, both of these are powered USB ports, so these will provide more current than other USB ports, so you can ch uh, use higher power devices, you can charge your iPod and things like that. Uh, a Wi-Fi switch is located here, so you can turn that on and off. I have never seen anyone use this, so I don't know why it's there. Uh, but it, nonetheless, um, moving on, we have a DVD burner right there, and a uh, PCM CIA PC card slot. I'm missing the dummy for that, sadly, but oh well. Uh, also, on the top right here, we have two indicators for power and battery. So. That is that. So that is just about all that composes the inside of this laptop. Excuse me for the um, the background noise. I have my window open just because it's really hot here in California right now. So uh, yeah, just excuse me for that in the in the meantime or in advance anyway. So yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and open this laptop up and we will take a interior tour. Let's go ahead and open it up here. So there you go. Uh, so I'm actually going to go ahead and take the camera off the tripod for this part, and I'm going to pan around. So here we have the 14-inch matte 1600 by 900 uh, display there. My camera does not like something that's going on there. Uh, that, that was weird. But anyway, yeah, there it is. Um, up here we have a webcam. I'm not sure if it's... Oh yeah, okay, never mind. It's a 2 megapixel webcam, and then with dual microphones, one there and one there. So... Okay, sorry about that. Um, here we have the Dell logo on the display bezel. Okay, while I'm at it, I want to talk about two, the two improvements that were made on this design. With the E6400, the LCD bezel would, one, come off because it was a cheap piece of crap that was held on by plastic clips, and B, it would scratch the palm rest because there was no rubber guard or anything around the display. There was no rubber bumpers, none of that. Well. Dell decided to change the design of the uh, LCD bezel, so now the exterior around here is metal, and the LCD bezel is just this inside piece. Uh, and this is not quite as flimsy as the E6400 bezel, so that's good. I've taken this off and not breaking it. So, uh, but also, they added this, uh, whatchamacallit, rubber ring around the entire display, all the way around. So that is going to midgetate the problem with the uh, palm rest getting scratched. Uh, going down to the bottom of the laptop, we have our backlit keyboard here. This is an optional option, obviously, but I have the backlit keyboard right there. Um, I recently bought that, actually. Uh, the power button, uh, indicator lights for a hard drive, battery charge, and Wi-Fi. Um, the touchpad here, which is fairly large, they improved, that's another improvement they did over the E6400 and such. Uh, they enlarged the touchpad, so it's now a lot more spacious, and it's just, it's just better overall. Um, and while I'm at it, let's go ahead and take a look at the, you know, oh, right away. Um, by the way, we have volume buttons right here, up, down, and mute. So, there you go. So, Dell decided to change the, the palm rest uh, a little bit up because on the E6400s they would wear really fast and become really shiny. Well, Dell decided to go with a rubberized palm rest, so that is just, I honestly really, really like that. It makes the laptop feel uh, very well built. It uh, doesn't feel like the plastic parts of this laptop are cheap in any way. I mean, this is rubber, so it, 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 gives, it gives your palms a good grip also when you're typing on the laptop, so that's really cool. I definitely am a fan of that that palm rest. Uh, and they also added, well, they also have this orange uh, trim around the keyboard. A lot of people don't understand that because uh, the, there is no more, there's no orange on any other part of the computer, but it's all personal preference. My personal favorite color is orange, so I obviously don't mind that one, one bit, but yeah, that's that. So that's a complete tour of the laptop. There's not much else left to do to boot her up, but before I do that, I want to go ahead and take a rundown of the specs. So, this baby has an Intel Core i5-2540M, 
CPU. Um, it has a base clock of 2.6 gigahertz, and it will turbo itself all the way up to 3.1 gigahertz, if I'm not mistaken. It's either 3.1 or 3.2. I can't exactly remember. Mine has 8 gigabytes of DDR3 PC3 10600 RAM at 1333 megahertz, and mine also has a 128 gigabyte Corsair. Uh, no, not a Corsair, a Samsung 840 Pro SSD, sorry. I was thinking of my custom built back here, so sorry about that. 840 Pro, um, really good SSD, one of the best you can buy, and this laptop is extremely fast with it. Uh, and mine also has the uh, Intel HD 3000 integrated graphics. Uh, it would have been nicer with the NVIDIA Quadro, but hey, with the Intel graphics, it runs cooler, and, you know you get better battery life. I don't do a, a lot of gaming on this thing, uh, just a little Minecraft and uh, Halo every, every now and then. So you can see this boot up. It's fairly fast. It boots up in about 30 seconds, I'd like to say. Um, so, yeah, as you can see, that's extremely quick. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on the screen now. So there you go. It's all booted up, ready to go. I'm not sure what this is. That's some sort of Dell application. I'm probably sure, so I'll close that. But as you can see, here is the 1600 by 900 uh, LCD screen here, and this thing is just—it's beautiful. Um, I've never had a screen with this high resolution. My desktop display, which is right back there, is a 20 inch, and it has the exact same resolution. But I mean, you can go up to the screen, and things are just so clear, and just—it's really nice. It's a—it's an extraordinary screen. Um, it would help if it was IPS, uh, but I don't know if that was an option. But yeah, this was the the best screen you could configure with this laptop back in the day. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look. Um, I wish I had performance test eight scores. I'm not really sure where those are. I think I might have kept them, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know. I think it got. Oh, there it is. So here's a result of performance test 8.0 on this laptop. As you can see, it got an 1837 uh, with, the, with the specs I mentioned before. So there's performance test for anyone wondering. That is a very respectable score for a laptop like this. And then, uh, of course, you can see here are the read times for that SSD. So that's not really so much the computer. That's the SSD. But there you go. SATA 3, not bottlenecked at all. That's just very, very quick. Uh, so, what do you say we go ahead and launch a couple programs? I'm just going to launch Word. Let's see how fast it is. Bam, there it is, right there. Oh, I don't think I've opened it before. Ah, uh, that's weird. Uh, let's go ahead and open Google Chrome. Bam, right there. So, I mean, it's just, it's really, really fast. Uh, thanks to in part by the CPU and, and the SSD and all of that other stuff. So, to conclude, I'm not going to go ahead and so show so much of the software side because that's all pretty subjective, and um, yeah. Uh, the bottom of the computer, by the way, has a bottom panel that can be completely removed for uh, complete access to all of the internal components. This computer is extremely straightforward and easy to work on, so that is definitely a plus. The build quality is excellent. They improved many things over the E6400 that were problems on that laptop, and I know because I, I own that laptop for a year and a half. And uh, yeah, I just I absolutely love this computer. So I hope you enjoyed this review. I hope it gave people who don't know much about this computer an overview of what it is. Uh, these things are running probably around the 400 mark on eBay right now. Obviously, with not as good specs as mine, but yeah. Anyway, there you go. So that is the. Dell Latitude E6420 review. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, be sure to leave a comment below. I'll be happy to answer those, you know, no matter what it is. Don't feel don't hesitate to ask. So, yeah, later.